Now we'll install the vintage L-frame with an insert on top of molding. We have our panels taken out of the boxes and protected against the wall. We can now go ahead and assemble the frame. Let's begin by placing a hard flat surface like this plywood on the floor. This allows the Hoffman key to be placed inside the Hoffman keyway easily and flush. Also note that the Hoffman key has a flat end and a round end. The round end will be placed inside the frame and the flat end will be laid on the hard surface. Go ahead and insert the Hoffman key and simply press down. This will allow you to have a nice flush surface on the back side of the frame. Then that can be repeated with the other side of the frame. Simply press down until the frame is nice and flush. Once the frame is flush, you can repeat the same procedure for the remaining three sides. Now that our frame is fully assembled, we can begin to install it. Note that we've measured from the inside of the bead here to the inside of the bead here on the casing. This will be our guide and our points of installation. We'll go ahead and take our frame, place it to the outside of that bead with our screws already in place, we can now install the frame. Note that we've put the outside of the frame to where we measure our, our casing. Now what we'll do is we'll level the frame and install the right side. Now that our frame is level and secure, we can go ahead and place the panels into the opening. Simply remove the protective cap, place the panel into the window, and slide it over. Using your hinge pins, install the panel into the hinges. If the pin doesn't go down on the first try, open the panel and eventually as it swings around it will go down. Repeat the procedure on the right side. Remove the protective cap, place the right panel into the opening onto the hinges and install the hinge pins. Now that the panels are installed, we can continue securing the frame. We'll start by placing a screw in the pre-drilled hole in the lower left-hand corner. We'll rack the panels side to side. Once they're lined up on the top and on the bottom, we can go ahead and secure the screw. Making sure that the panels stay lined up. Now that the left hand bottom is complete, we'll insert a screw in the right hand pre-drilled hole at the bottom and secure this frame to the wall. And we'll continue to check our evenness across the top and the bottom. Now that they're even across the top and the bottom, we can go ahead and finish putting the remainder of the screws into the frame. Now that we have all the screws installed into all of the pre-drilled holes with the hardware provided and the frame and the panels are secured to the casing in the wall we can now install our inserts starting with the left simply place the insert inside the frame gently pressing down we may use a rubber mallet to install these if needed, like so. Next, we'll install the top. Again, pressing up against into the miters and pushing in 
into the frame, simply press the insert into the frame. Repeat this on all four sides. Again, if you need to, go ahead and tap that insert into the frame with your rubber mallet. Finish up by placing the bottom insert into the frame and pressing down. You'll notice that these inserts will snap in, again, using your white mallet, you can press those frames in. Now the installation of your vintage L-frame on casing is complete.